Do you remember being in the air and the parachute not opening and you thinking in a classic bear way, I won't open the second parachute, I'll try and fix the first parachute? Yeah, I do. I think uh, I, for a long time I would have a lot of night terrors about it. Oh, for me, it was always about falling, always out of control, always what could I do differently, you know. Um, do you remember the... Because most people, when something that traumatic happens to their body, you hear that they, they wake up in hospital and they can't remember anything about the day. Do you remember Do you remember the day? Uh, yeah, I do remember. I remember the... I remember that sense of panic, trying to sort this canopy above above my head out, and then everything happening very fast, and the impact, and then just that sense of everything going black, and then knowing it was bad, but not knowing what. And then I remember being in eventually, I had a, sort of a journey in the back of a truck to get, eventually get to a hospital, and and we were in the middle of, you know, in, in Africa at the time, and and eventually in this little in little kind of pretty unsophisticated hospital and I remember being in this rickety wheelchair and they just put me in this thing and this doctor came along and just stuck a big needle in the middle of my back and numbed everything and now I've been in so much pain I was kind of you know a lot of pain and, and then suddenly the pain went and I, I just remember going oh brilliant fix thanks so much and trying to get up and it's like as if we're done yeah you know? he was going you're not going anywhere sunshine yeah um and then, and then I remember the the UNMO, what they call the UN monitoring officer in, in the country at the time, coming to visit me afterwards in hospital. And I remember coming to, and he had he had one of those Scottish berries with a big plume of a feather coming, you know, like they have sometimes. And I kind of remember this haze of this guy leaning over with a sort of feather, going, "You're right, me lad." You know, like I'll go, "Oh, what is it, a monster?" You know, and, like, and um, you know, and a long journey eventually back to the UK. But I think what ultimately saved me is that I had an incredible treatment at what they call Headley Court which was the army military rehab center uh, afterwards where where I was treated and and they were just amazing you know and, and I think I was young enough and I was lucky enough and you know had such amazing treatment that slowly I, I started to get better but but it was a long sort of dark road of struggle for me and of a lot of doubt and I just remember being lying there th struggling to get to the bathroom without pain and thinking there's not a chance of me ever going to be able to go back to this job and to my squadron that I loved and and How old just thinking what am I going to do you know yeah. so I was 22 then right so you've got your whole life ahead of you but but you, the thing that you love the most is kind of taken away from you yeah so was was it just incremental that you started getting better and better or was there a moment where you you, you know you thought hang on I'm, I'm going to be okay here I think it's inch by inch, it's a step back, it's a step forward and three back and four, and, right. you know, and a stumbling journey. And what I did know is that I wanted to climb again. That's what I was going to get. Is that was, the foc where the focus was? I was going to get strong enough to climb. And Everest had been a huge dream of mine since I was a kid, climbing with my dad. Yeah. I always had that picture on the wall and it was an aspiration. It was like one day, you know, one day I'll stand up there. And it was a kid's dream. And I kind of for, had left that and, and grown up and started life. and But in that hospital, that actually ironically became the focus. It was like, do you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm not only going to reach a bathroom without pain. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up the flight of stairs and down the flight of stairs and I'm going to go again. I'm going to start to climb again. And one day, just I, I want to stand on the roof of the world. And yeah. it became the focus of my whole recovery. 